Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are at Thunderbolt Pass. This is a beautiful golf course, and it's getting better and better all the time. Brought to you, Golfing the Tri-State, brought to you by the IBEW Local 16 and Local 1701 in Owensboro, and also NECA, the National Electrical Contractors Association. Thank you so much, you guys. Where would we be without electricity? We wouldn't have the camera. We wouldn't have the show. Bless you. Back with Will Clopton, the pro at Thunderbolt Pass, right after this, Golfing the Tri-State. Golfing the Tri-State is brought to you by NECA and IBEW Local 16 and Local 1701. NECA and IBEW Local 16, your quality, quality connection team, yeah, the electric edge, safety is our pledge, highly trained and always in the lead. Businesses depend on CNI Electronics to recycle all of their used electronics. Some businesses bring the electronics to CNI, or CNI can come to you. CNI weighs the load, processes equipment according to R2 guidelines, and provides a letter of recycling. Hard drives are wiped or destroyed. CNI Electronics recovers metals for reuse and refurbishes items which can be purchased for a great price. They recycle what's left for commodity content. When your business needs electronic recycling, C&I is your answer. Tee Time Golf Complex, the Tri-State's premier golf practice facility. Learn from golf pros on Tee Time's lighted driving range, short game area, and putting green. Tee Time has state-of-the-art computer video swing analysis and certified professional club fitting, which will take your game to the next level. Then take what you've learned to Tee Time's full nine-hole par three golf course. Tee Time Golf Complex is also the Tri-State's premier shop for golf equipment repair. Plus, it's the most fun place to be in the Tri-State. Everyone you see loves golf. Tee Time. On Evansville's west side, tradition has always been important. And there's been a tradition of caring since 1957 at Pine Haven Health and Rehabilitation Center. I do the admissions at Pine Haven Health and Rehabilitation Center, and we accept all Medicare traditional supplements and Medicare replacements. Please call us today or come in for our tour. Fun activities and excellent therapy. Your loved ones are treated like family. From the moment you step foot into the old train depot, you know there is something unique about Riverbend Kitchen Studios. From the beautiful kitchens and bathroom displays to the elegant closet systems, it's unlike anything in the Tri-State. At Riverbend Kitchen Studios, we combine quality products with professional design to create your dream kitchen or bath within your budget. Come see Riverbend's huge showroom, one block north of the Lloyd Expressway at 101 North Governor. Riverbend Kitchen Studios. Welcome back to Golfing the Tri-State. We're at Thunderbolt Pass, originally Hamilton's golf course from back in the 70s. Bob Hamilton put this thing together, and Will Clopton is the caretaker now, the pro here at Thunderbolt. How are you doing, bud? Good to see you. Thanks for having me, and glad to have you guys here. Looking forward to it. This it's a season. lot of fun. Beautiful day. Can't ask for anything better on a day like today in April. Uh, you know, the course is shaping up. Got golfers. What more could you ask what for? What more can you ask for? That's right. <laughs> I know a lot of people, a lot of our viewers, are kind of iffy on what exactly happened, but the airport bought the golf course. Airport owns the golf course. They're in charge of every, all the finances, and we manage all the expenses and the revenues, trying to generate revenue. Uh, maintain the golf course so everybody's happy and the place looks decent. Oh, it does look decent. I love the new cart pass. Very nice, almost all the way around the golf course now. Right. And now you have fairways, Will. We have That's fairways. That's awesome. There's actually <laughs> sculptured fairways at Thunderbolt Pass where before it was kind of a, you know, just a all cut the same length. Right. And now there's a little bit of a, a factor. You got to get it in the short grass. It, it, it helps. <laughs> it, <laughs> it does, helps. doesn't it? Yeah, we've got a couple different projects planned this year or over the next few years with continuing the irrigation in the fairways and also the cart path, trying to get those continuous all the way through all 18 holes. What else is in store? What more do you have planned? Uh, right now, uh, we're renovating number eight green. Uh, again, we still want to do the cart pass, try and get those nice and smooth all the way around the whole golf course, and then try to have irrigation in the fairways so when we have those drought summers, we can have water in the fairways and have green fairways. That's neat. So. Now, Will's going to be giving us a tip in just a little while, a tip of the week, and also I'm going to play Joe's scorecard today on hole 16? 16. 16. 
Hole 16 is the number one handicap hole here at Thunderbolt Pass. It's a big chasm that I shoot over in an elevated green. It's really cool. And also, we're going to give away a hat, a Golfing the Tri-State hat, which I'll show you in a little while. We have the hats in, and you can win it. All you have to do is come to Thunderbolt this week, play hole 16. We'll play the whole course. Play hole 16, meet or beat my score, and you're going to get a hat and one of these books. This is a 2013 golf privilege book from the American Lung Association with savings all over a 10-state region, including southern Indiana, Kentucky, Illinois, a lot of courses. All right. I've got, I want to ask you a couple of more things okay. about the course, about the history of the course. Um, Bob Hamilton started it back in the 70s. Right. Is it cool managing a place that a PGA champion there's some history Advised. involved, yeah, yeah. Bob Hamilton won the uh, 1944 PGA Championship, beat Byron Nelson in the finals, and you know that's pretty neat to have that uh, hanging over our heads, and you know a lot to live up to, the reputation and whatnot. So yeah. it's, uh, it's pretty neat. And you hear all the older golfers talk about back in the day with Bob Hamilton. Yeah, so back all, in the day. You know, all the stories. It's, it's pretty neat. That is neat. And do a lot of people? I, I love the name Thunderbolt Pass. Love it because of the P47s. Thunderbolts being created, gosh, less than a, a mile as the crow flies right. from here. But do people still say Hamilton sometimes? Still refer to as the old Hamilton's golf course. Yeah. I and mean, that's how everybody knows it. So Yeah. And Thunderbolt Pass is cool though. I love your logo too. Yeah. Oh I do too. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Very, very nice. Thunderbolt Pass, we have the tip of the week coming up. And what I'm excited about with your tip is it's gonna be a putting tip. We haven't had a putting tip yet on Golfing the Tri-State. You can go to golfingthetristate.com too after the show airs and watch it again. You can see the whole show, you can see the tip from Will, and also you can see Joe's scorecard. And post right there on golfingthetristate.com on Facebook and tell us what your score was so you get in the ante and the hat for the hat, okay? Golfing the Tri-State back with tip of the week coming up. Brought to you by the IBEW, Local 16 in Evansville, 1701 in Owensboro, and NECA. NECA and IBEW, Local 1701, Owensboro's best team. Contractors with direction, safe electrical work. It's a quality connection, done right and on time. For your home or business, a skilled, trained workforce that just makes sense. NECA and IBEW. Local 1701. Come play through at H and H Music, where quality and great prices are par for the course. Pianos by Albert Weber and Young Chang. Digital pianos by Kurzweil. New and used grand pianos. Player pianos by Story and Clark. Beautiful console pianos by Weber and Young Chang. Band and stringed instruments, including Eastman, Jasmine, and Takamine guitars, plus Ludwig and Mapex drums, sheet music, and more. Make a key time at the H and H Musical Arts Center for lessons on any instrument. Swing away at H and H Music, the trusted name in music. Since 1953, F.T. Kelly and & Sons in Evansville has kept the Tri-State swimming with custom in-ground pools. If you can dream it, F.T. Kelly can build it. Get a free estimate on how F.T. Kelly can change your life with the pool of your dreams. Along with pool supplies, full service openings, closings, repairs, and replacements. Your family will love F.T. Kelly & Sons grills, spas, and accessories too. For three generations, F.T. Kelly & Sons Evansville, east and west. The Equipment Connection, Highway 57 just west of Daylight is your connection for fun. The Equipment Connection specializes in the Tri-State's greatest golf carts. Customized for golf and fun. Golf carts for home, farm, and the golf course. The Equipment Connection can even make your cart street legal. The Equipment Connection, Highway 57 Daylight, your connection for fun. Brian Schmidt and his family know about golf and fun. The Equipment Connection. The Good Samaritan Home is independently owned and operated and offers residential living and Alzheimer's care. The Good Samaritan Home is more than just a job because for me, caring for my residents is a privilege. It's like caring for my own family. Over time, the residents become a part of your life. There's nothing like the feeling of a resident hugging you to remind you how awesome it is to work here. The Good Samaritan Home is a non-for-profit health care ministry affiliated with United Church of Christ. Call or visit GoodSamHome.org. I'm your worn out wiper blades. Hey, nice air freshener. For 12 bucks more, you could have seen the world.
And when you got cut rate car insurance, nobody helped make sure you were covered for this. So get an Allstate agent. <laughs> Call Allstate agent Dan Jost today at 421-1925. Promark is a leading custom screen printing and embroidery company specializing in all types of custom products to get your business noticed. We offer a full-service art department, in-house screen printing, embroidery, and even roll label production. And because we are locally owned, our clients benefit from quicker turnaround time and direct contact with the most knowledgeable customer service available in the industry. Call Promark and let us assist you in finding a product that will help you promote your company. Promark, we sell attention. Welcome back. Golfing the Tri-State. Tip of the week with Will Clopton here at Thunderbolt Pass in Evansville on Petersburg Road. This is Petersburg Road. And it, this is tip of the week, and I feel like Michael Breed on the Golf Channel, you know. Let's do this! It's a putting tip. Thank you very much for doing a putting tip. My pleasure. Because I need help, Will. Everybody. William, help. everybody needs help with you know, the short per game. Personally, I think putting is probably the most important part of golf. It, it is. So. It really is. The, if you can get up and down. You're good. Exactly. So what are we going to do today? Uh, you have a couple of yeah, irons gonna, laying down. I'm going to focus on setup. Now, what I've got here are two clubs that you can use out of your own golf bag. They don't have to be anything fancy. But I have the two clubs laid parallel on our target line, trying to get the ball to go to the hole. Uh, one thing we notice when we set up to the golf ball, we want to try to have our eyes over that golf ball. Mm -hmm. um, with the two clubs on the ground also, it helps us line up our shoulders because our arms tend to follow wherever our shoulders go. So if our shoulders are out of line, we have no chance of getting that ball in the hole. Mm -hmm. So let's get that, the shoulders parallel to the target line, eyes over the ball, and then we just want to try and make a nice stroke back and through. Hopefully that ball will get close to the hole, if not go in. Should I try one? Why don't you step in there? Okay. Get your golf See. ball. You want to get those eyes right over the golf ball. Eyes over the golf ball. Shoulders parallel shoulders to your target parallel. line. Looks, looks great. Pretty parallel. Looks pretty good. Okay. Let's All right. see that ball go right in the hole. <laughs> we'll see. Didn't hit it. Didn't get it, did I, Will? <laughs> That's All okay, right. though. Now, but, is there? do you have any special way that you grip the putter? I know a lot of people grip the putter differently than they do For me, clubs. personally, what I teach, I try and get the hands to work together. Uh, palms facing each other. Nice, light grip pressure, not too tight, not too loose. Uh, when we get tight on the putter, we get tension in the forearms and the shoulders, it's hard to make a nice smooth stroke. Mm -hmm. and we keep it nice and loose, that putter head flows. We want to feel the weight of that putter head. Feel the weight of the putter head. Yeah. Okay. And back and through, all the way throughout the whole stroke. Okay. All right. Well, I'll try another one here. Okay. Because I'm embarrassed. I didn't even make it to the hole. <laughs> the guys I golf with would have said, Does your husband golf? <laughs> they, they would have. You know what I mean? Well, got it there, but off to the side. Are you married? Are I am married. You are uh, married? Uh -huh. What's your wife's name? Her name is Kim. We've Kim. been married for it'll be 17 years in September. 17, 17 years? years? Any babies? Uh, they're not babies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 18, 15, and uh, 13. Really? That's she, the, what are their names? Uh, Asher, Braden, and Sarah. Do they like to golf? Not at all. No? no I've, I've tried. <laughs> the, they, they, You're like, interested. it's like my wife. Yeah. She won't go golfing with me yeah. anymore. Oh, she loves golfing the Tri-State, but right. she, doesn't, she doesn't golf with me. Okay, what else can you tell us about putting? Uh, like, um, where do you look? Do you always look down at the ball and not at the hole? or? Uh, when I'm sitting over the ball, I want to see where the hole is. Because if you don't know where the hole is, you're not going to make the ball go in the hole. So you got to know where the hole is. And when I'm putting, I'm just kind of looking at the golf ball. We want to hit the sweet spot of the putter. Out there on the tour, on the heel, it affects the distance of the putt. It's not going to get as far as you want. So if we hit that sweet spot consistently, we're going to be a better putter. Okay, so light grip, look at the ball, line up at the hole. Okay, I'm going, to try, go. I'm going to try one more. I think it breaks a little bit right to left, don't you? It, uh, I think it does. Just a little bit? Okay. Okay. Oh, almost. Got a piece of the hole. That was my closest one. Gosh. I, I got to make one on TV, you know. I haven't putted yet on golfing the tri-state. I've got to make one at least. Okay. <laughs> That'll do it. I need Will to go with me when I play in the senior or whatever. All right, here we go. 
There that it is. That one's in. Yes! Yes! The money putt. I did it. That was for the Masters, you know. <laughs> Thunderbolt Pass. I wanted to tell you, last segment, this is the scene of the crime for me because this is where I started in 2008 at the H&H &H Music Scramble, one of our sponsors on Golfing the Tri-State. I didn't like golf before that. I was on the all-star team, baseball and basketball and stuff in high school. I never really liked to golf. I don't know why, you know, but I got bit by the bug so hard I still got bite marks, I told Will. It was awesome. I've been golfing two or three times a week ever since. And uh, that's why I wanted to do this show, just for golf. Okay. I love golf, you mm -hmm. know. I've had enough time on the radio and in the limelight and stuff like that. Don't need it. I just love golf, man. And you're outside. Yeah, no kidding. Outside and having fun. Right. Golf is my life now. I love this. <laughs> Will, thank you very much. What else can you tell us about putting? Uh, practice, practice, practice. Uh, you can't get better by reading about it. You just have to do it over and over again. Just like you do the driving range, put some time on the putting room. Okay. Let, let's do a couple of putts without the, okay. without these. And we'll go ahead and each of us do a couple. This is fun. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. You do one, then I'll do one. Okay. Go. All right. I still have that kind of feeling of those clubs in place. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's going to help. So we want to get lined up, look at the hole in the ball, try to hit it in the center of the club face. There we go. Yes! <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> High five. Okay. Oh, I've got my noodle. I'm hitting noodle balls now because that's my uh, nickname for my grandson's noodle because he flops around a lot. Ramsey. <laughs> and I got him golf clubs for Christmas, so he's going to be out here at Thunderbolt with me real soon. Oh, well, heck with it. Tip of the week. Tip of the week with Will Fox right here at Thunderbolt Pass. We'll be back.